Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree Miracle Once upon a time in the Hundred Acre Wood, Winnie the Pooh, a bear of little brain but lots of heart, lived with his dear friends. They all enjoyed a simple life filled with happiness and honey, of course. But one summer, the Hundred Acre Wood faced a severe drought. The flowers wilted, the rivers dwindled, and most heartbreakingly for Pooh and his friends, the honey production declined. Their favorite honey tree, the sweetest in all of Hundred Acre Wood, bore no honey at all. Pooh, who loved honey more than anything else, was particularly saddened by this. But he saw that the situation was even harder for the bees who used to make honey in that tree. Without honey, they had nothing to feed their young ones. Seeing this, Pooh hatched an idea. He had a stash of honey pots, collected and saved for many rainy days. Despite his love for honey, Pooh decided to do something quite extraordinary. He approached the honey tree with a pot of his precious honey, much to the surprise of his friends. Pooh, why would you give away your honey? asked Piglet, his best friend. My dear Piglet, said Pooh, our friends, the bees, are in much more need of it. If I give them my honey, they can feed their little ones. And perhaps, when the drought is over, they might return to making honey for the tree again. But Pooh, Piglet was still puzzled. That's your favourite. Are you sure about this? Pooh nodded, his face full of determination. He carefully poured his pot of honey into the hollows of the honey tree, his heart heavy but hopeful. The bees buzzed around him, surprised and grateful. The other friends watched in awe. Tigger, Eeyore, Rabbit, Owl, Kanga, and Roo. They were all inspired by Pooh's selflessness and began to share what little they had with the other animals in the forest. They gave away their thistles, haycorns, and even the last of the stripy sweets. The hundred-acre wood became a place of love, sharing, and sacrifice, all led by Pooh's selfless act. Miraculously, when the drought ended, the honey tree was the first to bloom. The bees, nourished by Pooh's honey, started making honey again. It was sweeter and more abundant than ever. The hundred-acre wood returned to its days of joy, and they all realized the value of sacrifice and selflessness. And so Pooh taught everyone in the Hundred Acre Wood a very important Christian lesson. Just like Jesus Christ sacrificed himself for mankind's salvation, sometimes we need to give up what we love for the greater good. And in the end, the rewards for such selfless acts are sweeter than any pot of honey. From that day forward, the story of Pooh and his honey pot was often told around the Hundred Acre Wood, a reminder of the importance of sacrifice, selflessness, and love for others. Subscribe for more stories that teach values.